Hello student, in this topic we will deal about administrative tribunals in India. So, in administrative law, the term tribunal is being used in a significant sense and it refers to only the adjudicatory bodies which lie outside the sphere of the ordinary judicial system. Technically, in India, the judicial powers are vested in the courts which aims to safeguard the rights of the individual and promotes justice. Therefore, to institute an effective system of the judiciary with fewer complexities, the judicial power are legislated to the administrative authorities, thus giving rise to the administrative tribunals or administrative adjudicatory bodies which holds quasi-judicial features. Now we will deal about the history. The concept of tribunalization came into existence with the establishment of the Income Tax Appellant Tribunal before the independence of the country. After independence, a need was being felt for resolving administrative disputes with flexibility and speed. The core objective of tribunalization was to provide specialized and speedy justice to the people. After the drafting of the Indian Constitution, several rights for the welfare of the individuals were guaranteed by the Constitution. People have the right to speedy trials and of specialized qualities which cannot be delivered by the prevailing judicial systems due to the overburden of cases and appeals, technicality in procedures, etc. Hence, the need for the inception of the administrative tribunals could not be ignored. Now, we will deal about the growth of the administrative tribunals. The 42nd Amendment of the Constitution introduced Part 14a which included article 323a and 323b providing for the constitution of the tribunals dealing with the administrative matters and other issues according to these provisions tribunals are to be organized and established in such a manner that they do not violate the integrity of the judicial system given in the constitution which forms the basic structure of the constitution then the introduction of article 223a and 223b was done with the primary objective of excluding the jurisdiction of the high court under article 226 and 227 except the jurisdiction of the supreme court under article 136 and for an alternative institutional mechanism or authority of uh, judicial cases now the purpose of uh, establishing tribunals was to the exclusion of the jurisdiction of the high courts was done to reduce the pendency and lower the burden of the cases therefore tribunals are organized as a part of the civil and criminal court system under the supremacy of the supreme court of the india then from the functions point of view the administrative tribunal is neither an exclusive judicial body nor an absolute administrative body but is somewhere between the two that is why administrative tribunal is also called as judicial tribunal